and welcome back. Well, in a moment I will explain what it was that I was doing, but I really do want to get um, cracked on and get these splines completed. So, just bear with me for a moment. And there we go, that was quick. Splines are extremely useful and versatile little chaps and we'll be using them to form many parts of the Messerschmitt's geometry. Now as far as the geometry I've been creating with the spline so far, well they're nothing more than temporary helpers that are going to be discarded once their purpose has been served so I didn't have to pay too much attention to their detail okay anyway I've reconfigured our viewport so that we only see the front and the perspective and it's the front viewport which is active so let's pop over to shapes we're in splines and I'm going to select line now I'm going to left click with my mouse button and release it then press shift now by pressing shift that means it's going to go straight up or I can go straight down and it's going to keep it perfectly straight see if I move left to right it's not moving it now up to the top there and I'm going to left click with the mouse again let go of the shift, shift key and now I can actually go around and shape this We'll close the spline and say yes. Um, we'll give it a brighter colour so we can see it a little bit better. Say OK. Now here in the perspective viewport, if we right click and then have a rotate around, let's just see, and there we can see our spline. It's nothing more than a line and at this stage it doesn't have any breadth or depth to it. Going back over to my front viewport, I'm going to right click over the spline and at this point I want to convert it to an editable spline. Once it's an editable spline it puts it over to our modify panel and now we have access to other options such as the vertices or the vertex. These vertices here we can alter if I click right click on this one we can see that at the moment it's on corner but we can say smooth and as we can see it now smooths it out so if I move that it smooths this one at the top we can change to a bezier corner now that throws out a little handle here which we can move and adjust but I found that with these vertices here if we just move them a little bit it actually allows us to grab a hold of those handles and pull them up so we're now shaping this if we look over here at the perspective we can see that happening so what I'm going to do is just go into here 
and smooth these out come on it's playing up again it's Camtasia and we'll go smooth so that's smooth them there go down to this one say Bezier corner just move it a little bit so it allows me to pull that out a bit more so all we're doing now is shaping it as we did before now that I'm happy with the shape of this what we need to do is come over here come out of vertices and actually come back up to the line now watch the perspective viewport what I want to do now is apply extrude to our modifier stack so there we go now you'll notice that it's filled the area in and that's because of the caps down here so if we remove the cap start cap and end cap we can now see that it's basically disappeared that means there's no breadth or depth to it until we add our amount so if we increase our amount now we can see that it has some depth let's just rotate this bit around there we go we can see completely through it let me just change the colour of this for a moment. Put it onto our steely grey. Then I added the shell to our stack. And as you can see here, that has added one bit of a shell. So what I need to do is we have an inner amount and an outer amount here. If I just put my cursor over there and right click the mouse it zeroes it out and we can look at the inner amount and just increase that a little bit and if we rotate it around and zoom in now I can see that it's actually placed some thickness to our spline and the thickness was added to the inside of the spline and this is where the outer amount and the inner amount comes in so if you want to add it to the outer select outer inner you select the inner amount well what I also did was I didn't need this section here so I deleted it I went into segments now you'll notice that it reverts then back to the spline so whilst all these are in the stack we can come down here and modify it so I'm going to select the spline there just press delete and if we go back up to shell you can see if we just zoom out a little bit you can see that it's deleted that and now we have our semi profile but we do need a full profile and I could of course create one of those by collapsing this and then producing a mirror but then I'd have to weld it all together and that's a little bit more time consuming so it's a little bit easier to actually create the symmetry or add the symmetry to our stack let's just add that and if we then go into symmetry we can see we have a mirror so by moving the mirror along now it's creating the other half of our profile put it there and we're doing it along the x-axis at this moment in time and it's also welding the seam now if I right click come on, Camtasia is playing up and we say convert to an editable poly now we have our profile but it's not perfect but it's good enough for the job that we require so why isn't it perfect? well if you look down here you'll see there is a number 
of deformations or deformations. Now, if I actually undo all that we've just done and put this back on, I could actually resolve this situation by moving the shell up above the symmetry. And as you can see now, it's straightened out the deformations. So it is important as to where these modifiers are placed within the stack. So why didn't I do that in the first place? Well, I was working in the front viewport when creating these and I couldn't see them. So by applying the shell first I could see where they were and then once I moved the mirror across I got the location. So there's a lot of different ways to accomplish the same thing and that's something for you to experiment with. But don't worry too much because we will be covering splines again um, during the course of these tutorials. Okay, what I'm going to do is just delete this. Now, the question remains, how do we actually create the profiles for our wings?